Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp's online techniques class. Today's technique is called Faux Mother of Pearl. Now to do this technique I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. You are going to use the Frost White Shimmer Paint. Give that a good shake. And then I just have a stamp box. And we're going to put a little bit of that paint. You can see I've already done that on the box. And then you need a piece of saran wrap. It can be any kind, any brand. You can also use a plastic bag, cellophane bag. And you're going to wad that up. And you're going to pick that ink up on that crunched bag. And you're going to rub pounce all over your card stack. Now this is going to look different every time you do it, depending on how much paint you get on but it's going to give that pearlized background. And here I have a dry one. You're going to set that aside to dry, but I have one already dry. I'm going to take the crumb cake ink and a sponge, and I'm just going to sponge over the top. Now the ink is going to fill in where the white is of the card sack. You can use any color you like, depending on the colors that you use in your card. Sometimes I use a light green, light blue, light pink. Just depends on what my card is going to be. And then to stamp on it, you need stays on ink. And I'm going to stamp these little bells. And I'll put the name of the stamp set on the blog. But I'm just going to stamp them on there. Then a Merry Christmas. This is all from the same stamp set. That's going to go down here. And now to color this in, we're going to use a couple different ways of coloring. We're going to use uh, garden green, and we're going to use the blender pen. And we're going to just pick up some of that ink, and we're going to color right on the cardstock. By using the blender pen, in the inks, it just it's softer. It's just a lighter shade. And to clean your blender pen, you just rub it on your paper until it's clear, no more color left. And then we're going to take the cherry cobbler, and we're just going to color in right here where these little knobbies are on our bell. Now for the rest of it, we're going to take some markers. So I have cherry cobbler, and I'm going to use the cherry cobbler to color in the bowl. Now you can see how when you use markers on here, it's a lot darker, really dark. So depending on the look that you want, decide on you want to use markers or the blender pen and your ink from the lid of your ink pads. I kind of want dark and light. So I'm doing a combination of both. And my berries are going to be red. I forgot, there's a little line above here I just wanted to outline. And then I just wanted to come in with, this is the um, Oiz Artichoke. And I'm just going to bring a little deeper green into my leaves. And I, you can tell I'm just brush stroking them in there. And my little dinger is going to be yellow. And that is all the coloring whoops, that I'm going to be doing on my card. This is going to be layered onto
cherry cobbler. And then on a piece of berry vanilla. The base of my card is very vanilla, and then I took a piece of cherry cobbler and ran it through the petals of plenty in the big shot. Go ahead and stick that down. My card size is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stick my faux mother of pearl on here like this. And then I'm gonna put this on my technique page. And I got some green I'm smeared on my page. And then here is the finished card. Now on the finished card, I took the little pearls and put them on the little dots there just to finish it off. But that is your faux mother of pearl technique. Thanks for stopping by.